Hey, it's Gardener Shakol here, and we are going to do a video update of our garden. We have been behind with our updates, so instead of us writing a blog today, we're going to do a vlog instead and take you around our garden and show you different parts. The first part we're going to start off is um, with showing you the fruit that we are growing in our garden. All right, I got Gardener James here mm -hmm. and Gardener Jerry. And we are actually in the back of our garden with a blackberry plant. So um, actually, this is not even the back of our garden. This is the back of our yard. So you can see the corner of our fence. This is our backyard here. And we actually planted this blackberry plant in our garden. But it got so big, so we dug it up and moved it. And it survived. A lot of times I try to move things. I don't want to say a lot of times. But sometimes I try to move things and they don't survive. And if you check out here, uh, boys, go ahead and point some out. Uh, point out some blackberries that are growing for them. Right so there. right here you have some blackberries growing, you have some down here that are coming in nicely, and you have some over here. Now uh, Gardener Jerry stood right here and wave, um, oh uh, wave at everybody, and Gardener James, and then take us to the apple tree. So we planted an apple tree uh, this fall. We put it in, we're not going to have apples this year. But um, our apple tree does have some problems. Point to the problem, James. So right, so right here we have some leaves and this is actually called apple scab disease. It won't necessarily kill the tree um, and we can't treat it right now because the tree is so young. But um, it, uh, it is, it's just it's unsightly and it's not good for the trees. And there are some insects that are on the trees that we do not care for. You see those there? And they're like everywhere on this tree. And my boys are pointing out something. This little, uh, well, this little apple here. I don't know um, if this is going to turn into a full apple or how this is all going to turn out. Because they said not to expect any apples the first year. So we'll see what happens. So Gardener Jerry, I want you to go back over there to the blackberry uh, raised bed. And then J and James and I are going to back up until we get to our garden. So you can see how far away we planted this. Yeah, you can wave or jump up and down or something. Should have put James over there because you got a green shirt on. Anyway, we're backing up, we're backing up, we're backing up, we're backing up. And those are our lovely day lilies. And here. We're over here. So you can come on, Gardener Jerry. Here comes Gardener Jerry from the back of the garden. And James, what do we also have over here? Oregano and the other side. No, well, of that's that's not oregano. That's I mean, tarragon. Tarragon. Tarragon well, and the other side of the blackberry bush. Yes. And the, there are still those annoying bugs. Yes, those annoying insects are there again. But remember I said that I dug up the blackberry bush? Did I get the whole entire blackberry bush? Nope. No, because it <laughs> grew back over here. So... Um, yeah, so it looks like I'll be moving this again. But is this the only berries that we're growing over here in this raised bed? No. What are the berries? Blueberries. Blueberries. Uh, bend down there and point those out for everyone. So we have some blueberries. We This um, raised bed started off as a couple of dwarf blueberry plants. This is the last um, blueberry plant that survived. This one here. And so this is all the fruit we have in our garden so far. An apple tree, blackberry tree, uh, apple tree, blackberries, and uh, blueberries. Um, this year our strawberries did not grow back. It was the first year that it happened. Over here is where we used to have strawberries. We'll pick up here and tell you what we got going on here in just a moment. So the next part of our garden that we're going to highlight today is some more fruit. But we're going to focus on some melons. And if you've been a follower of our YouTube channel, you know we have a pretty popular video about growing melons vertically. So let's get into that. So Gardner Jerry, what are you standing by today? Honeydew melon. Squat down it and show it to us. So this is the honeydew melon and we're growing it vertically. So if you see down here, that's where it started. And we're using this cage and each day and I we literally mean each day we come outside and we move the plant um, to make it stay inside and these little pieces here will actually start looping around and it will like right here you see that so I'll start looping around and hanging on to it so we have to move these every single day to make them go 
up, 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 up. And when we come down the other side, we have Gardner James. And Gardner James, squat down and show us what we have down here. What is on your side? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. And how do you feel about cantaloupe? I love them. He loves cantaloupe. Um, we have the cantaloupe here just for Gardner James. And the same here. We're doing the same. So like right here, this one is out. So tonight we'll come out and we'll start coaxing it. Well, I can do it right now. Coaxing it back inside and we'll coax it over and it will start looping over here instead of going that way. So this is an everyday process because this grows super fast, especially when it is warm. And so this is our melons. And the next part we'll get into are some herbs because this raised bed used to have strawberries. None of our strawberries came back and that was the first year that happened. So instead of, you know, shedding tears about it, we just planted something else here. And my father is also a gardener, as many of you know, and he has tons of strawberries. So we still have strawberries. So next we'll talk about some herbs. If you haven't figured out already, I am sitting in front of some herbs. I'm sitting in front of one of our sage plant and our next segment of this video will be for us to walk around our garden and highlight all the herbs for your growing. So we just left off talking about these melons, but behind the melons we have some space and there's no need to waste space in the garden. These are basil plants. We put some basil seeds down about a week or two ago and they're coming up. And behind our basil, uh, Gardner James, what do we have over there? We have some chives. We have some chives. And what do we like to put our chives on? Give us some things. Hmm, salad, spaghetti sometimes. Tacos. Tacos, yeah. All right, and here, Gardner Jerry, what's next to our chives? Sage. Sage, and give us a description. Bend down and give us a description about how this sage plant is doing. It's doing pretty good, and the, the, the other half right here is it's, it's still good. it's pretty good, except this side is really bad. Right, if you see right here, there's nothing growing here. The part of it died, and actually, part of this plant is missing. Jerry, where's the rest of this plant? Show us all the way over here. All the way over here, we split that plant in half, and it actually took up a good section of this raised bed. This is a three by six raised bed. And most of this corner now is this sage plant. So it just expanded and grew. Sage also flowers. Are these flowers edible, boys? Mm-hmm. Yep. What could you do with these flowers? What are some that we've done with these purple flowers? Put them in salad and tacos. Um, yes. And spaghetti. Yeah, yes, they love to try it everywhere. And next to our sage, we have a lot of? Mint. Mint. And how y'all feel about mint? Good. Uh, what do you like to sneak out here and do, Gardner Jerry? Uh, uh, eat mint. Yeah, and what is this something that you do that I do not like? Uh, I don't clean it first. Right. See, when you get mint, sometimes on the other side, or just any plant, you can have some bugs. There's no bugs on this side, so, I mean, if you eat some mint and it tastes minty and it starts getting a little salty, you might got a little buggies in your mouth. What other things do we do with mint? Uh, let's see, we put it in ice cream, tea. Yes, they love I, mint tea. Uh, I put it, um, once I put it in uh, hot cocoa. Oh yeah, that is a good idea. And next to our mint, we have some more. James, I think you should talk about this one, because this is one of your favorite herbs. This is oregano. I like uh, putting it... Oh, uh, no, this is oregano up here. What is this one? Sage. No, I mean, no, we already talked about sage. Which one is this? Tarragon. Tarragon. That's this what is tarragon. You... I really love putting it in my eggs, mm -hmm. and every time Grandma cooks hers she doesn't put that in her so each time i have to keep telling her put oregano in you mean tarragon in... no yes we're yeah, talking tarragon. about tarragon tarragon inside and she keeps forgetting all right so since you spoke about oregano that's actually what's in front of here this is oregano here but there's something else in here with the oregano what's else in this uh pot time, time. which how is did, over there how did time get over here this is not even the, the wind time pot. The wind blew the time over to here. Yes, so uh, we call that a volunteer. And do we have other plants that volunteered itself and started uh -huh. growing in our garden? Give uh -huh. us an example. Uh, this this one. Plant. Okay, there's two. So this is one that just volunteered itself right here. Um, and, and this really big tomato plant. And this big tomato plant that's actually in the middle here. And this one is a volunteer and it's already growing tomatoes. And let me show you where this one actually was hiding in our garden. It was hiding back here on the outside of this raised bed and this corner, this crack right here in between the raised bed and here. And I just gently pulled it up and moved it and it's doing well. 
so far let's see we did everything no we have one more thing i want to talk about right here what is this lavender i love lavender it smells so good and uh, i like to take this lavender and put it into uh, sugar cookies. You can put it into icing. There's a lot you can do with it. So that is um, about our herbs. There's a few other things in our garden we'll talk about in just a second. So here's our last segment. We're going to talk about the different veggies we are growing and we're going to wrap this video up. First, so first I'm going to start over here. This is new. Back here we used to have peas and radishes or random stuff. But this time I, I got um, some cedar and I made this out like a better um a actual more like raised bed and i put this insect covering this is like plastic here but the top is mesh so i can wear it right on top and underneath here you d aren't able to see it maybe i can pop this under but i have some mustard greens growing under there we already talked about the tomatoes um as volunteers what i'm not going to get into is that whole fruit versus vegetable thing you can sort that out on your own now the purpose of this video come on boys right here what do we have right here boys we have some, we have some cauliflower yeah and who gave us this cauliflower miss vandercourt miss vandercourt and what does miss vandercourt do she runs the stone oh, connection yes yeah. yeah, so miss uh on Mrs. Moore road farm yes so mrs vandercourt is an awesome person they had a field trip that had to be canceled they were actually their um second grade was supposed to go to the farm but it got canceled they did a reverse field trip and did most of what they could do at their school and they used these plants and we were able to take them home and right here we have some cauliflower um growing next to the cauliflower what do we have boys we have some kale kale and we have our kale completely covered by this uh, bug net um, it keeps our kale looking nice and it keeps the little buggies off of the kale behind you james what do we have we have some lettuce lettuce we planted this lettuce in our spring garden and it's still popping next to it we used to have spinach over here but if you know anything about spinach we talk about this every year spinach bolts and speaking of volunteer there's another little volunteer plant i don't know what it is about these tomato plants growing on the outside of my raised bed so that one's up there and kicking here we have uh, go down there and point to uh the cucumber plant a cucumber plant right there and we put in two pepper plants we put in yellow peppers this year i like to mix it up and right behind the sage what do we have behind the sage growing another tomato plant tomato and actually you're right there are tomatoes let's get back there yeah yeah let's see that but they still haven't turned back. yeah yeah we actually have some tomatoes yeah, there I actually but them. can we eat green tomatoes no well, you don't yes. like to eat green tomatoes, um, but you can't eat them. I love fried green tomatoes. They are delicious. I Did we? T yeah, we know. Did we talk about all the vegetables? Oh, what, Jerry, where are you pointing to? Uh, onions. 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 And what, what's, what's special about this onion? Um, oh, that onion's it's huge! Well, it's huge, but it's ready to... What should we do with this onion? Pull it out. Why is it ready to be pulled out? Uh-huh. How do you know? Tell because them how you know. It pops out so automatically. It, so once it pops above the ground, it's ready to be pulled, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and uh, let me get down here. Let me get down here. Oh, is there two? Uh huh. Oh, he's going to do two. Oh, okay. And this is what happens a lot. We want to fight over pulling out things. But hold up. So there are some onions that we put down. And Jerry is disappointed because James grabbed both of them because, you know, that just happens when you have kids, especially twins. So there's that. Um, so this is our garden and this is our update we still have more stuff we're going to put down and you know what we are going to say here anybody can be a gardener you just have to get ready get set and grow